Wesley, bad boy Boone. I ain't particular about doing homework, you understand. My teachers practically faint whenever I turn something in. Matter of fact, I probably got the longest list of excuses for missing homework of anyone alive. Except for my homie Tyrone. He tries to act like he's not even interested in school, like there's no point in studying hard or dreaming about tomorrow or bothering to graduate. He's got his reasons. I keep on him about going to school, though, saying I need the company. Besides, I tell him, if he drops out and gets a J-O-B, he won't have any time to work on his songs. That always gets to him. Tyrone might convince everybody else that he's all through with dreaming, but I know he wants to be a big hip-hop star. He's just afraid he won't live long enough to do it. Me? I hardly ever think about checking out. I'm more worried about figuring what I want to do if I live. Anyway, I haven't had to drag Tyrone off to school lately or make excuses for not having my homework done because I've been doing it. It's the Harlem Renaissance stuff that's got us both going. We spent a month reading poetry from the Harlem Renaissance in our English class. Then Mr. Ward, that's our teacher, asked us to write an essay about it. Make sense to you? Me neither. I mean, what's the point of studying poetry and then writing essays? So I wrote a bunch of poems instead. They weren't too shabby, considering I'd only done a few rap pieces before. My favorite is about Langston Hughes. How was I to know? Teach would ask me to read it out loud. But I did, knees knocking like a skeleton on Halloween, embarrassment bleaching my black cheeks red, eyes stapled to the page in front of me. But I did it. I read my poem. Guess what? Nobody laughed. In fact, everybody thought it was cool. By the time I got back to my seat, other kids were shouting out, Mr. Ward, I got a poem too. Can I bring it in to read? Teach cocked his head to the side like he was hearing something nobody else did. How many people have their poems they'd like to read? He asked. Three hands shot up. Mr. Ward rubbed his chin for a minute. Okay, he said. Bring them with you tomorrow. After class, Teach came over to my desk. Great poem, said Mr. Ward, but I still expect to see an essay from you. I'll give you another week. So much for creative expression.